Some more mouth-watering morsels for you all to feast upon. Now, as I wind my way through the bowels of the rig to meet tonight's celebrity, let's find out what challenge they'll be facing. I always feel like a nap after two helpings of Aunt and Mauritius Octopus Crumble. And my next challenge, a drowsy trape through Sleepwalker, doesn't help any. The evening's second contestant will need to control a plucky young pup called Ralph, whose mission is to duly protect Lee, his sleepwalking master, from danger. For ultimate success, the zoo level of the game needs to be negotiated without disturbing Lee's slumber. Oh well, time for 40 winks, methinks. For our special comic relief challenge, we are blessed with the presence of a comic legend. Please welcome the High Priest of Light Entertainment, Vic Reeves. <laughs> A bit, bit shaky steps there. I am there. terrified of coming down the steps of that height. <laughs> Listen. What a pleasure it is to stand in front of such a marvellous array of dials <laughs> in one small area. <laughs> so, um, well, we like, to, we like to put the boat out for our special guest, Vic. Which is your particular dial, have you got <laughs> I think, um, well, this is a particular favourite of mine. That's yeah, yours, what do you think? the vacuum. Yes. Yeah. What's your, your favourite at I a first think glance? I I'm going for the steam flow. The steam flow one. <laughs> All right, now, Vic, if we can, on a more serious note, right, what is Games Master doing for Big Red Nose Day? Well, now then, uh, Comic Relief has presented this in uh, conjunction with Ocean Software, I believe, right. and it's called Sleepwalker, and it's, um, well, if everyone buys it, half a million pounds go to UK and African charities, so let's all go out and buy it, shall we? <laughs> OK, if you'd like to see how Vic gets on in Sleepwalker, join us after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. In conjunction with Big Red Nose Day, Vic Reeves has flown out to the Games Master rig for a little spot of Sleepwalker. By my side is a commentator of biblical proportions, Stephen Solomon Gamora. Welcome, Stephen. That's very kind of you, Dominic. It's nice to be back. All right. Now, Steve, any tips for Vic on this? Well, it's a game about forward thinking, really. You may have got to lead the character here across one obstacle, but there's always another one just around the corner. OK, let's hope Vic employs a little bit of forward thinking. What he has to do is uh, guide the young wee boy out of the level. Vic, are you ready? Apparently. The best of luck then, off you go. Here we go then. OK, so here goes Vic, he's actually controlling the dog here. That's Steve. right, the dog's called Rover and he's got to help him get past all these obstacles. Now the first one are these electrifying eels, which have shoved him safely past that. Very now, well done indeed. Boot him up the tree. Now boot him again. Another kick, Vic's well played. a dab hand at this. Now he's got to push him through this next obstacle. Oh, he's kicked him again. I don't quite see the logic no of that, but reason. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Vic can do it this time. OK, he's hoofed Probably learns from his mistake there. Now he's going to go, go. Just... push him through. That's, That's it. That's it, nice one. Now hit the snake, otherwise Lee's going to get hit, hit the, the snake. Times. That's okay. it, now get the boy, now push him back, push now the boy back. The monkey oh, yes, push him back. Oh, yes, the monkey's pushed him back this now time. Now through. Oh, oh, no. The snake just got alive again. He came back to life just... Now hit him, Vic. Oops, the kid's gone. Oh, no. He's been trapped. That's all right. Rover's actually invincible. It's Lee he's got to worry about, as you can see from the top of the oh, screen. Oh, well, he's actually lured the That's snake right. there. Very unselfish piece of play right, there now by Vic. pushing Lee against the wall so the lift will take them both up to the next level. Okay, well, there we go. now we've got the next stop. Okay, now. Thing That's there. right, now this bridge <laughs> collapses. Oh, no. Rover had to bridge that uh, that gap there. Oh, no, it means he's, the little boy's going to want gonna Lee's going to fall gonna back through. Him. Get be... the snake, Vic! Get the Get snake! Me. As you can see from the top of the screen there, there's a drowsiness meter for Lee. As soon as that gets to zero, Lee will wake up. That's oh, it! Lovely, well Vic. played! Yeah. Very well timed! Yeah. OK, here we go. Now, how can he get the boy through OK, here? now he's got to hold himself between the two. Oh, That's it. smart piece of play. Yeah. Well done, Mr Reeves! Very heroic. That OK, now this elephant, he's got to hit the trunk of the elephant to stop the spurts of water. He said it, it's tied in a little Very well here. done. Now, Lee will jump onto the back. Rover's got to kick him onto the back of the giraffe. OK. Now the giraffe will catapult him up oh, to the next yes. bit. Oh, yes, now Vic's going. He's going something now. Steve. He's got to hit the hedgehog. Hit the hedgehog. I don't think Sagal will be like, like that one. Here we go. He's got to oh. kick him over here. No, he's falling no. right back down. Back don't let him fall over the bridge, Vic. Oh, no. Vic. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Vic's trapped. Is Lee going to get through? No, no. Lee's been back OK, down. push him through now. Push That's it. Yes. Okay, okay, now the we're elevator. back in the elevator. Right. Now we've got this bridge bit, Steve. He's okay, got he's got to bridge the, bridge the gap again. Okay, he's dangling yeah. away there. Now, what's next? We've got the elephant we've got here. The, elephant. the, elephant's, the trunk. elephant's trunk will already be knotted. Right, that stays knotted. Yes. So he's got to get past the elephant's okay. trunk, which he's just doing now. 
Okay, now... And then up on the back of the that's giraffe. That's right. Now, the giraffe's neck will catapult Lee up onto the next floor. That's it. The rover's got to jump as well. Oh, no. The rover's got to get the hedgehog, otherwise it could be curtains for no, Lee. The hedgehog will have gone Come on, now. Vic. That's right. Oh, oh no. no. The hedgehog got him, which means little Lee has woken up, and sadly, Vic's challenge is over. Bad luck, sir. It was very poor. It was very poor indeed. <laughs> and I can only apologise to the little boy in his toga <laughs> and return to my Kaplunk and Ifix kit. <coughs> Listen, Vic, what was the problem with his the snakes there? I've always feared snakes. <laughs> Anybody who breathes <laughs> through the tongue. Like that. Anybody like that. <laughs> got something wrong with them. Well, listen, Vic. Fear. Unfortunately, we know it's uh, Red Nose Day coming up on the 12th of March. Yes. I'm not actually sure if you'll be there to witness it. I, sh I should think I probably will be. Well, unfortunately, the challenge was a bit dismal. So what we do in circumstances like these is refer to Games Master to see if he's going to allow you to actually leave the rig. So could you excuse me for a second? If, you, if that's what you must do, yes. <laughs> OK, let's go over to Games Master. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one. Down to the pit, you social misfit. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Mr. Reeves. Games Master has spoken. Well, what a slow and yet predicted verdict. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what my ombudsman's going to hear about this. I, I'm <laughs> telling you, it, it's nothing to do with me, Mr. Reeves. I hope you understand that. Uh, you, you are devout, well, then. Neptune's a personal friend of mine. All right. Not very likely. 